What have us have what have us as loyal fans done to deserve the fact that Batman Arkham Shadow is gonna be exclusively a meta quest game? What what have we done? to these companies to these corporations that they really thought to themselves hey you know what would be a brilliant idea why don't we put out possibly the most the biggest and the most anticipated game that has been going on for years now right okay people have been dying for a new arkham game for years for nine years ever since arkham knight came out people had to deal with the suicide squad and I think people would have been willing to forgive the Suicide Squad because, listen, Kevin Conroy dying, there's nothing that you can do there. There's nothing that you can do there. It's not fair to judge just based solely off of that, okay? I get that. But you also have to think about it in this sense, all right? WB had an opportunity because Gotham Knights was okay in certain aspects, but it was not good, okay? It was lacking in a lot of key aspects that make Batman games special and sick, okay? So, and then Suicide Squad didn't didn't do anything to help that. So, what you're left with is fans wanting an Arkham game. And there, and you, you have people's hopes of you announce Arkham Shadow. It's a cool title. It's a cool title. Arkham Shadow, badass title. And I would be totally behind Roger Craig Smith getting a sequel to arkham origins but this is not a proper sequel to arkham origins this does not count okay you want to know why because this is exclusively on meta quest all right only on the meta quest and i am not spending four hundred dollars to play a game that's probably going to be shitty now when arkham vr came out right one, Arkham Knight had just came out when Arkham VR came out. And people, for the most part, liked Arkham Knight. Rocksteady didn't need to put out another Arkham game because they had already succeeded and won, okay? The part that pisses me off, and I think pisses off a lot of fans, is just simply the fact that people are so freaking done with... Every IP being dragged into the ground. Every franchise being dragged until there's nothing left to get out of it. I mean, think of it in this way. It's happened to... It's like what my friend Crimson Law calls the uh, Borto effect. It's what, it's what Roland and I dubbed the sequel effect. Like, everything gets dragged down into the mud. Everything does. Everything just keeps getting brought back or extended they can't do anything new if this was a totally new just solo batman experience done with the rocksteady engine at this point bro just give us arkham beyond just give us arkham beyond because that game got canceled and that game deserved better that game deserved to see the light of day and not and not and not the suicide squad and Suicide Squad will forever be unforgivable in the aspect of how they treated Kevin Con Conroy and the Arkham Batman. But now that we know officially what happens to him, I'm not going to want to play any Arkham games in the future, any future games. Even if we get a, a proper new one on consoles, I may not play it. Because now I now I officially know what happens to, to, to him. The end of... of uh, Arkham Knight, if you know Batman, you know what happens, but for, like, casual fans, it was left very up in the air what happened. But it's obvious that Batman lived, okay? We knew what happened to him. Now in the Suicide Squad game, homie's dead. Homie's just fucking dead. He's just dead. That's it. Now, Liam has a theory, and I think that he's uh, right, there because there are unused lines by Kevin Conroy that didn't make it into the base game. So Liam theorizes, and I think that he is right, that Suicide Squad is going to get desperate and they're going to make Batman a DLC character. So Batman will be brought back to life. He will not be actually dead because they can't stick to anything ever. And no franchise can. 
So I say all this to say that Arkham Shadow fans deserve better in in regards to um games and just stuff in general. Listen, I can't tell you guys what to do, but if I'm you guys, do not spend. There's gonna be some of you that, and this is coming from a diehard fan of Batman. There are gonna be some of you that are so diehard that you're gonna buy this game. Don't, don't. You know why? Because the people in charge will see that you're uh, buying it, and then they're gonna want to make more in the future. That's what. That's what's gonna happen. That is what's gonna happen. And I don't want. I don't want more Arkham games, especially not in VR. I might be able to tolerate, like, like the part that I'm at now is I borrow it from my local library, play it for the channel on a stream, and then just, like, give it back. I would not spend money on, on an Arkham game unless it's Arkham Beyond. That is the only way. That's the only way. And, and even then, there would have to be some, like, conditions. Okay. I'm broken and bitter at this point. And I just say all that to say that if you're if you really are a fan of Batman, I'm not going to judge you if you do buy this uh game, but you really should. Because we deserve better as fans. And it's gotta it's gotta be up to us because no one else is gonna listen to us. So yeah, I'll see y'all.